Hey everyone, Dr. O'Neill here. In this video, I want to help you understand the muscle terms that describe a muscle based on size. Let's dive right in. First, we have longus versus brevis. So longus means long. Brevis, think brevity, brief, short. So brevis muscles are going to be short. So when you have two muscles and one is long and one is short, they're going to be named longus and brevis. The key example here would be the extensor carpi radialis muscles. Extensor carpi means it extends the wrist. Extensor carpi radialis tells us that it's on the radial or thumb side of the forearm. So we have two of them the extensor carpi radialis longus and the extensor carpi radialis brevis. So whenever you see that a muscle has the name longus, you know there's going to be a brevis somewhere. So that's longus versus brevis. Now there's a third term here, which is longissimus. This would be the longest. So longus means long, brevis means short, longissimus means the longest. So this uh, best example here would be the longissimus muscle, which is the longest of the erector spiny muscles, the strap-like muscles that support the majority of your spine. So longissimus means longest. Next we have major and minor. So if you have two muscles and one is larger than the other, they're going to be named major and minor. So you have the rhomboid major and the rhomboid minor between your shoulder blades, the teres major and teres minor muscles of the scapula, but my favorite is the psoas major and the psoas minor. The term psoas actually means of the loins, so this would be your loin muscle that connects your spine to your hip. The psoas major is much larger than the psoas minor, so that's major versus minor. Now we use major and minor if there are two muscles, but what if there are three? That's where we use the terms maximus, minimus, and medius. So maximus is going to be the largest of the three, minimus will be the smallest of the three, and medius would be right there in the middle, kind of like Goldilocks. So the best example here would be your glutes. The gluteus maximus is the largest gluteal or buttock muscle, the gluteus minimus is the smallest, and the gluteus medius is in the middle. So that's maximus, medius, and minimus. Lata versus latissimus. So lata, some say latte, is not a fancy caramel drink that you can get at the coffee shop. What it actually means is broad or wide. So the best example here would be the tensor fascia lata. This is actually pretty interesting because the muscle itself is not a wide or broad muscle. The name is telling us that the fascia, the connective tissue, is what is broad or wide. So the tensor fascia lata, or the TFL muscle, is actually pretty small, kind of cigar shaped, but its tendon is massive. It's not even called a tendon. It actually fuses with part of the tendon of the gluteus maximus and forms the iliotibial band, or the IT band. So if you're a runner, you've definitely heard of the IT band and how you should take care of it. So tensor fascia lata is actually telling us about a broad tendon, the iliotibial band. Now that's lata or latte. That means broad or wide. Latissimus means widest. So the key example here would be the latissimus dorsi muscle, which is the widest back muscle. Dorsum means back. So latissimus dorsi, the widest back muscle. So that's lata versus latissimus. Next, we have magnus versus vastus. So magnus means largest or huge. Vastus means greatest. So when I think of magnus, the first thing I think of is a man named Magnus Ver Magnuson. So he was a competitor in the world's strongest man when I was younger. And he was very, very good. He dominated when I was in my late teens and early 20s. But when your name is Huge McHuge, you should be good at the world's strongest man. So magnus think huge. So the best example I can give you here would be the adductor magnus, the largest of your groin muscles, the largest hip adductor, adductor magnus. Vastus means great. Now the vastus muscles are going to make up three-fourths of your quadriceps, your thigh muscles. We have vastus medialis on the medial surface, 
vastus lateralis on the lateral surface, and vastus intermedius right in between. So that's magnus versus vastus. Lastly, we have the gracilis. Gracilis means slender. This is a long, skinny, slender muscle that runs on the medial surface, the inside of your thigh. It's actually the medial most or innermost of all the thigh muscles. So this long, skinny, slender muscle that runs down the inside of your thigh is called the gracilis. All right, I hope this helps you. I hope you're more prepared to learn these muscles and understand them, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Learning complex topics is hard. That's why they're called complex topics. But I hope this video showed you that I can help you, that I can lead you down the right path, that we can tackle this topic together, one video at a time, one step at a time, one synapse at a time, until you grow gray matter.